Hi everybody, welcome back. So in this video, people are talking about their worst um, salon or hairstylist experiences. I'm going to share my own experience at the end of this video, but take a look. I went to DVH salon in Walthamstow and Margaret did my hair. If you've not watched my previous video, what happened is I went to her for a wig install. She had installed the wig, realized that she didn't dye it properly. And then went out the room, came up with a brush and just started painting dye on my head and didn't want to dye off. So now I'm left with this crazy reaction or burn or whatever. And it's leaking pus and oozing every day, nonstop. Also update, this is what my edges normally look like. And on this side, this is where the reaction starts and it goes all the way up. It's probably not going to translate well on camera, but it's red and it's like got pus bubbles. It's just quite disgusting. And as you can see, I'm losing the hair here. This is what my edges normally look like. This is what it looks like now. I messaged her and I told her what she'd done and I can't actually believe how rude she was. How can someone be speaking to a client like this? And not just a client, but a client that you've actually done really serious damage to. And I told her to give me a refund. She said they don't do refunds. And then she just started ignoring me. So that's who it was. It was Margaret from DVH Salon in Walthamstow. So it's only right I tell you who did this because she's not remorseful, she doesn't care, and she'll probably do it to someone else again. Like, are you for real? For real? But some of the stories that these women are, are, are sharing will make you become a DIY queen. I kid you not. So, without wasting your time, let's get into the video. So I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story time when an Atlanta hairdresser boyfriend chased me at the house with a butcher knife. So y'all know how hairdressers have this policy that, like you have a 10 minute or 15 minute grace period and after that they're gonna charge you so many dollars so this girl had a grace period i think like 15 minutes right and after the 15 minutes she charges 20 dollars so y'all i was on time i was even early and if you know me i do not be early but it seemed like when i'm early everybody on late so i literally was waiting outside her house for a hour maybe 45 minutes 45 minutes to an hour for sure because she was still doing somebody else hair so in my head i had already decided that i was docking her pay because if i was late you was gonna charge me 20 dollars. so since you're an hour late because you're still doing somebody here i'm gonna dock you 20 dollars. period so she starts doing my hair or whatever and she keep texting get on the phone arguing with her baby daddy all this other stuff right i'm still not saying nothing so then she stops in the midst of me in the midst of doing my hair she gets on the phone to go upstairs get on the phone arguing with her baby daddy i hear him come in the house they arguing tussling i'm hearing all of this right so then she finally comes back after 20 minutes mind you she was already an hour behind starting my hair so when she finishes i venmo or cash app her the money and i shorted 20 dollars on purpose so she was like it's short 20 dollars," and i was like it's not i was like because you would have me waiting an hour and if i was like you was gonna charge me 20 dollars," so i subtracted 20 dollars from your pay she was like that ain't how this work i was like it is with me i was like and on top of that you being late you was arguing with your baby daddy and went upstairs and argued with your baby daddy because i heard y'all she was like i was on the phone no you when i heard when he came in the house and y'all was tussling sis like bffr so i politely got up and started walking up the stairs but i was watching my back in case she tried it you know what i'm saying because she's steady talking shit. and i'm like well you can do what you want to do like i'm not paying you the 20 dollars like i said what i said period so why i'm like walking about to walk out the door like i'm walking upstairs walking she said she yells to her baby daddy she ain't paid me my money y'all when i tell y'all heard him running fast as hell down them stairs y'all i didn't want to look like no hoe so i just sped walk i was speeding walking at this point because i know what's about to happen y'all so i speed walk at the house why i turn around i see a big ass butcher knife in his hand and i mind you i don't stay in atlanta i'm in a rental car so i speed walk to the car and i'm thinking either he finna stab me or slash my tires and i like hurry on the other side of the car from him and then he like going back and forth and then she like he like just give her her money just give her, her money and i'm like i pay her her money she was like she ain't give me all my money she ain't give me all. i said because you was an hour late i'm not paying you 20 dollars because you was an hour late and he was like he was like i'm pretty sure if you just talk to her y'all can work something out. i said i tried i tried she wouldn't she wouldn't she she wouldn't work nothing out 
So then she started talking about y'all Instagram hoes got them followers and be broke. Y'all broke. Mind you, I think at that time I I had like over 10K followers, but not even 20K followers. I wouldn't even like I didn't even have a lot of followers on Instagram. So I don't even know where that came from. And I was like, at that point, he got a knife. I don't know what y'all about to do because it's giving ghetto. I'm not even going to go back and forth with you, girl, because I'm not broke. I'm just, you unprofessional, and I'm just not going to give you $20. Your pay is docked. So she was like, you know what? It ain't even worth it. It ain't even worth it. I'm going to charge her card because when I made my deposit, I did it on my card. So when they... When he turned around, baby, I hurried in that car. I backed up at that long ass driveway so fast, y'all. So then I instantly called my bank, block her um her business uh from charging my card. And yeah, I oh, and I made a police report. I did make a police report. The police um got all my information. I got a, a gave all the information because of course I went back to her Instagram and did a deep dive search to get all her information, personal information, name, all that other stuff, whatever. And um, yeah, I had filed a police report, and so I don't really know what happened after that. Um, she did try to charge my card, and I think it had went through, and I ended up calling the bank and filing the claim, and then I got the twenty dollars back, and yeah. So, I don't know what happened with them, with the police, but, yeah. It was given very ghetto. And the people that's in the comments, like, you should have told her up front, girl, girl, you, girl, no. <laughs> Did she tell me she was going to be an hour late? Because even when I said something about her being an hour late to her, she was like, oh, well, it's on my website. It says uh, approximate time of how long it might take to get your hair done. But they don't say nothing about the people that's coming after you. They got an appointment. That was the point of us making an appointment. Like, they don't even make sense. So, yeah. I don't care what y'all talking about. Talking about I'm dead wrong. Guess what? I do not care. <laughs> I do not care. And guess what? I would do it again. And But now, I learned my lesson. If I go to somebody's house, I ain't going to do it. But if I go to your establishment and you at a, a salon or whatever the case might be and you do that to me... I'm still docking your pay. I don't care. <laughs> don't care. And we'll do it again. Damn. <laughs> hey, shit like that give me excited, man. Can't lie, man. I just want to say real quick. Let this be a lesson that I don't care how good that girl's boutique looks on Instagram. How good her hair shop looks like it's run. I don't care whose celebrity hair they do. Because they got to take care of their clients. Because look at this. This is what happened when I got my hair colored by a professional in the field. Supposedly professional with color. And it was so severely damaged by bleach. Even my scalp was burnt because she overprocessed my hair. And was trying to act like she didn't at the same time as well. Um, obviously, I know bleach can damage your hair. And yes, everyone's hair is different. But she left me under the dryer for 20 to 30 minutes without monitoring what was going on in my head. I literally had to tell her that my scalp was burning in order for her to take me serious enough and wash the bleach out. So if you take away nothing from this video, please take away this. I don't care how many Instagram followers they have. I don't care how aesthetic the hairstylist boutique looks. I don't care who's shouting them out on Instagram. Please, like, just be very, very careful with who you go to to do your hair. I hope this reaches the right audience because I never thought this could be me. And it sounds really cliche. But <laughs> this is me now trying to work back, getting my hair back to normal. So, yeah. I hate to do this. But y'all will never believe what's happening to me right now. My hairstylist just left me alone with her son in her house while she runs to the beauty supply store. A three-year-old son. I do not know this woman like that. What the? I can't make it up. I can't make this up. All I want to do is get my hair braided. I just want my hair braided. I feel like I'm being punked. Not to mention, the little boy has pooped on himself. 
Okay, you gotta wait for your mom to come back to give you a bath. I'll keep y'all updated and let you know how this works out for me. This right here is living proof that these hairstylists have actually lost their mind. Not accepting 4C at this time. Is a curl pattern credit or debit to you? What the? By the way, I don't know who this was. I found it on Twitter, but huh? When I tell y'all, look at my head right now. Look at my head. Like, I cannot make this shit up. I, you would think by now that I would have learned my lesson to stop going to these ATL hairstylists, but I really thought that something bad couldn't happen to me the second time because I was going to be prompt and I was going to be exact. I'm in my car now so I can tell you guys what happened to me. So I booked with Majesty Key Styles yesterday, okay, for today. I asked her before I booked, because I'm trying to like cross my T's, dot my I's, blah, blah, blah. I asked her before I booked, I was like, hey, are your slots actually available? Like if I book at 12.15, am I going to be able to be and get my hair done at 12:15. Like, are these legit slots? She replies back and she's like, yes. So I'm like, bam, boom. I book for 12:15. Someone next to me is blasting music. So next day rolls around. I make sure, because I don't know if you guys remember me from the last time this happened to me. I made sure I was on time. I showed up here at 12:15 on the dot. I get to the door. Okay, I get to the door, the door's locked. Somebody else comes, I text her and I'm like, hey, like I'm here. Some other hairstylist comes out and opens the door. So naturally, like I follow her into the room and she's like, oh no, no, you're in the next room. Key's in the next room. I walk into the next room, which by the way is this small ass room and Key has somebody sitting in her chair. Now, mind you, to give her the benefit of the doubt, I thought it was still possible because she was almost done with this girl's hair, okay? She was almost done. It was a sew in All she had to do was like straighten the leave out and put some curls in it. Bam, boom. So while she's doing that, another girl comes in and she's like, sit down. We're in a small ass room, by the way. Our knees are like, basically my knees and the other girl's knees are knocking. Like we're, they're sitting right next to each other, okay? This girl starts, starts this. She starts this situation right here, okay? And I'm a little bit unsettled, just a little bit. I usually go with the flow, but I'm a little bit unsettled because she's asking Key, the main stylist, kind of like, how do you part it? Like, is this right? Is this how I do it? And I'm like, I booked Key for a reason for her like style, like the way she does hair. So it's kind of annoying that this girl doesn't really know what she's doing, but whatever, I digress. I'm going to just keep pushing forward, whatever. So after stylist two, not Key, is done with this, she takes me to a back room separate from the room that we're in. And when we get back there, there's another girl sitting with just like me with a cap on underneath the dryer and that I hadn't seen. I was like, damn, how long has she been back here? Like, what has she been doing? I hope that's not about to be me, you know, because I gotta, I got time, I got shit I gotta do, okay? So she gets up, she goes into the room with Key, okay? I sit down in the dryer and this shit's blasting air. It's hot, it's f but I'm like, whatever, like maybe that's her person, like stylist two's person, it's not Key's person. Because I, as I was sitting there, I saw the girl that I had first came in and saw leave. She had left. So I was like, okay, clearly I'm next. Great, we're making perfect timing. I'll be able to get out of here and then pick up my son from school. Boom, 45 fucking minutes goes by. I'm like, uh, it's getting kind of late. I'm 45 minutes away from home. I drove 45 minutes away from home. I have to pick up my son from the bus stop at three. Atlanta traffic is wild. So I was just like, huh, maybe I should let her know like, hey, like my appointment was at 12.15 for a reason. Like that's why I asked you because on your website it says, quick weave 45 minutes so I had plenty of time in my mind because that's what she put on her website right so I'm sitting there and I text her that I'm like hey just a heads up you know I gotta be out of here by two um you know I gotta pick up my son from a butt the, from the bus stop uh like let me know what's up meanwhile the meanwhile the hair dryer is still blowing on my neck and she sends me a text and she's like hey that's not gonna be possible I wish you would have told me I wish you would have told me, ma'am, ma'am, I specifically asked you, I asked you if the slots that you had on your website were actual slots that I can book and it be accurate and it be on time. That's why I asked that, okay? So the moment I got that text message, honey, I was in that back room, I got my ass up and I walked into there and sure enough, she was working on the girl that was underneath the dryer. 
Like you're almost two, three hours behind your 12, 15 slot. By this time, it's like 1.30, 1.35. I'm like, what are you doing? I look, her, I look at her and I'm like, yeah, like what's going on? And she's like, oh, well, you know, I wish you would have told me. And honey, I just, I was very nice. I was very kind because I always am. But I was like, no, ma'am. I was like, no, ma'am. I booked for 12.15. I also messaged you for this reason so that I knew I would get this time so that I could time this purposely, purposely so that I could get home to my son. My son gets off the bus, okay? I didn't know there was gonna be two, three people ahead of me and I was gonna have to be waiting an extra four hours to get my hair done. If it was a normal occasion and it was a normal day, maybe maybe i would do that okay but no i gotta go pick up my son she's still trying to be like well if you would have told me ma'am she looks at me and she's like there's no way there's no way i'm gonna be able to do your hair by two o'clock i'm standing here in the doorway looking like this looking like this thinking how the f really how am i gonna get this off my head how am i gonna get this off my head i mean i could go home and wash it blah 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 but i'm like what in the hell she did offer after i was like can you take it off for me because at first she was just like at first she was just like oh um it comes off with water that was her first response i was like bitch i'm not about to walk outside looking like this and then i was like you know what i am gonna walk outside and look like this so i can film this video because i want y'all to see that i'm not lying and i did nothing wrong this time y'all nothing wrong at all i was on time I, she wasn't on time she wasn't on time and now my hair looks like this this is what i get for not going just to five star weaves this is what i get I, oh listen never again never again i have officially a hundred percent okay take my ass to the moon and back learned my lesson y'all i'm literally shaking because i cannot believe how rude and mean and evil these women were i was at this hair salon getting my hair done for like a good two hours i got up about three times okay to go switch chairs to get my hair washed dried and my comb was taken out rather my braids taken out these women said nothing to me and it was all women no one said anything to me i finished getting my hair done i pay i leave i go next door to a beauty supply store i'm so embarrassed this woman stops me and goes hey the entire back of your pants is red you're in your period <laughs> I was at this place for a whole hour and a half. I got up like four times. I'm shaking. How embarrassing. And like throughout the whole time, they were like speaking in another language. It was, they were giggling, they were laughing. And I'm like, you know what? You can tell someone's kind of talking about you. But of course, I can't be sure. So I'm just like minding my business, doing a little vlog. Like, ooh, we're getting my braids done. Meanwhile, I'm the freaking joke. The stories are insane, aren't they? Well, why wouldn't you just tell her? You know, it's all girls in them. You could just pull her to the side and tell her instead of shaming her and gossiping about her. That's like horrible, right? And the lady who they put the um, hair color, the stylist put the hair color directly on her scalp. Like, are you for real? For real? Okay, let me share my own story. So a year and a half ago, I went to visit my mom in London. And while I was there, my hair was out. Like, if you know me, I'm always in braids. This is my style, okay? Because so I do have wigs, but I prefer braids. It's easier and convenient for me. Okay? When I was at my mom's, I saw this girl on Instagram. And she had, like, amazing work and everything. Um, and so I decided to book an appointment to get um, traditional sewing. Because it looks like she knew what she was doing, okay? On her page, she has rules and regulations. It's like she has a selection of hair vendors that she prefers. Now, I don't know what difference that does to the quality of service you offer to your client. Because in my opinion, if you are a great hairstylist, you can work with any type of hair, okay? If I bought a designer um, hair, you're still going to sew it on top of my head. Like, maybe I'm crazy, but let me know in the comment section if I am. So, she said, she listed some people that she recommends, okay? But if you have your own hair, that's not a problem. That's fine. So I booked the appointment. So after I booked the appointment, I noticed that there was no address on the uh, thing. So I didn't know where I was going. So I sent her a message. I was like, I just booked an appointment. Can you send me the address to the salon, right? And that was when she contacted me and told me, well, I'll give you that details a day before the appointment. I was like, why can't you give it to me now? Because I want to prepare and plan my journey as I am not from London. And then she's like, well, it's my house. So 
I'll give you the details a day before. And I was like, okay, cool. I, I respect the hassle. If you work from your house, you work from your house. It is what it is, right? For safety reasons, no problem, all right? So the day came, the day before that, she did send me the address. When I got there, I realized that she wasn't at the door because she said she would meet me outside. I got there, I looked around, there was nobody there. So I phoned her, I was like, um, I'm outside, where are you? And that was when she told me, um, walk down. So then I realized that, mm, babe, if you're that scared, then don't do what you're doing. So I walked down, I kept walking. Three minutes has passed. The girl said, you are not there, keep walking. I was like, how far is it from here? And then she said, when you were coming into the neighborhood, the first building, I was like, babe, what is all of this? But I didn't say anything, right? No problem. So I kept walking down. It took me five minutes to get from the place the taxi took me to her door, right? And then she told me, you'll find some kids playing outside. I'm there. Okay, so when I got there, there she was, very beautiful woman in her early 20s. But she seemed pleasant. So I followed her. We went inside the house. And I noticed that actually she lives in a, um, a shared house. So she does the hair in the room that she's rented, if it makes sense. So we went in there. She had a bed in there and a chair. And a, like, that place was sweet, okay, for a young lady, very nice and clean. No problem. So she was nice, she complimented me, she said, your hair is beautiful, you're beautiful, where'd you get what you're wearing, and so on and so forth. I told her, and we cooled and keyed a bit, until I pulled out my bundles. <laughs> the moment I pulled out my bundles, her whole demeanor, everything about her, the happiest face that she had, the politeness, everything disappeared. She looked at me with a very condescending face, like, how dare you bring this hair here? okay so she was like where'd you get your hair i'm like oh aliexpress because that's where i get most of my <laughs> most of my hair i mean i didn't read any meaning into it it's just traditional sewing what's the point in buying hair that has been repackaged okay you want me to go and buy hair from blue ribbon hair are you serious okay i'm going to insert some of the prices from that blue ribbon hair and if i was to buy hair from them as compared to the hair i bought i'll insert something there but her face changed, she started looking at me funny, you know, the conversation just ceased and then I realized that she was braiding my hair like super fast, okay? Very, very fast. Mind you, the slot is two hours, no problem, but she was braiding. Within like 20 minutes, she was done with my braids. I was sat in front of the mirror, so I could see that my braids are like very chunky. For, for a sew, like a, a, what do you call it, a traditional sewing, I'm expecting the braids to be a little bit like smaller, but they were very chunky. I'm like, okay, maybe she knows what she's doing. Let's just give her the benefit of the doubt. And she started stitching the um, tracks onto my head, almost angry. I didn't know why she was angry. So I started feeling bad. Okay, I'm like, what have I done? Maybe I should have bought the blue ribbon hair. Is that why she's treating me the way she's treating me? But I'm someone who does not like confrontation, okay? Number one, I'm in somebody's house. Anything can happen. So let me just keep my cool and get out of that house, okay? No problem. So she kept stitching quickly. Um, she didn't talk to me throughout the 45 minutes. Maybe she was in a hurry. Maybe that's how she works, but she was just stitching, okay? When she was done, well, initially I booked um, layers and styling. But the way she was going, I started feeling a bit weird. So I was like, do you know what? Can you just um, flat iron the hair and then I'll be out of here because I'm running late. I gave her that excuse and she was like, okay, no problem. Um, I'll just do that. By, I kid you not, by one hour, 20 minutes, she was done. Okay. So I'm done. I'm about to pay her. And then she was like, um, she, she gave me the price for the service. And I'm like, I... I didn't do the trim and then she was like you booked it so you have to pay i'm like what are you going on about um i didn't do it and besides you finished my hair before the two hours slot so should i also charge you and that was when she, <laughs> she started becoming a little bit aggressive okay she was like well this is why i only deal with people i know for and i'm like then why do you advertise on instagram because if you put a page on instagram advertising your work people like me may seek you out and come here if you're working with friends and family then keep it that way okay because there's no need for it but at the same time i am one of those people who do not like fighting over money so i just let her take it, it was just 20 pounds i mean i've already spent so much money I, I know my money was going in the drain but hey no problem take that 20 pounds okay so when i was about to leave she was calm again i hope you come back i hope um you like i hope you recommend people I'm like are you serious i just looked at her no problem i left went home mm -hmm. I found out that she did a video on Instagram talking about if you're going to come for a service here, she insists that you bring three of this here. Don't bring her from AliExpress. Don't bring her from here. Don't bring her from there. I'm like, babe, you have the audacity to tell people what kind of hair to bring to 
not even a salary and you're not even a professional okay you're someone who's learned something and you're trying to make ends meet out of it if people are respecting you for the fact that you worked in a shared tiny room i think you should be able to give people grace for bringing you any other even if it's beauty supply hair aliexpress hair, whatever hair it is you should be able to work with it it is traditional sewing now a week after i had to take the the whole thing down because my hair is thick okay the way she braided it i ended up with a, a chunk something like a pillow at the back of my head that when i lay down i couldn't lie on it was so uncomfortable and the way she i'm going to insert a picture of how she braided my hair here and imagine it like super chunky okay that's how she did it i wasted almost 250 pounds to go and see this girl to get a sewing okay a traditional sewing only for me to take it down by the end of the week like what's the point thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again with another video take care of yourselves bye